Guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some results that have just been published in March of 2020 from RCH-01. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you are new to the channel, do make sure to hit subscribe. And if you're personally worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short and simple questions about yourself and your hair loss. Then you'll receive free, personalized, expert advice on regrowing healthy hair. So guys, RCH-01 is the child of Repless Cell Life Sciences. The company are headquartered in Canada, publicly traded, and with active research programs in North America, Europe, and Asia. They define themselves as a regenerative medicine company. Their focus is on cell-based therapies for treating aesthetic and orthopedic conditions. So they have various technologies that use the patient's own cells to rejuvenate the skin, the tendons, and the hair. Now their hair loss technology is called RCH-01. So RCH-01 is not the name of a medication or medical device but rather the name of the procedure, which we'll break down for you shortly. Replicel believe that RCH-01 has the potential to become the first minimally invasive solution for pattern baldness, both male and female. A minimally invasive as in contrast to a hair transplant, which is a full-on surgical procedure. So Replicel have partnered up with a company called Shishido to promote RCH-01 in Asia, but they manage their product on their own in the rest of the world. Now, what does the RCH-01 procedure involve? Well, firstly, hair follicles are removed from healthy donor areas in the back and sides of the scalp that are immune to balding. The follicles are then dissected and the top half is discarded. From the remaining lower half, the dermal papilla cell is removed and the dermal sheath cup cells that remain are cultured and manufactured en masse. This cell culture is then injected back into the balding areas of the scalp using a specific number of injections in a specific distribution on the scalp. The injected cells then migrate and stimulate the miniaturized hair follicles to jumpstart the hair growth cycle. This procedure is classed as autologous cell implantation, meaning that the patient's own cells are being utilized. Now, this treatment has a number of advantages. The most obvious ones being that you don't have to look for a donor, you minimize the rejection of transplanted cells, and you ensure that the new hair is consistent in terms of texture, color, etc. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie. I would actually love for this treatment to be the next big thing in hair loss. But the indications so far don't allow me to be very optimistic. For one, the results that have been published so far have been rather modest. The phase one results lasted five years and completed in 2017, showing that the treatment did increase hair growth. But the results were far from spectacular. And it certainly isn't the revolutionary treatment that you might think by watching one of the company's promotional videos. Now, the company stresses that this was primarily a safety study to see if the treatment causes any unacceptable side effects, which it doesn't seem to do. So they expect to see better results as the technique is improved and the dosage protocols are optimized. But another update was published by Shishido just this past March 2020 in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. And sadly, the results, they're nothing to get too excited about. Now, we have linked to the study below in the description if you do want to read the full text. So this study was funded by Shishido in two different locations in Japan, and it involved 50 males and 15 females with pattern hair loss. Each subject was given four injections in the balding areas of their scalp. Three of the injections contained the dermal sheath cup cells, and the fourth was a placebo. The treatment efficacy was assessed prior to the injections and then at 3, 6, 9 and 12 months later. There were three different concentrations of transplanted cells. Surprisingly, hair density only showed a statistically significant increase when the lowest concentration was used. The regrowth peaked at 9 months after injection and fell shortly after that. So the effects of the injections appeared to be temporary. But even more disappointing are the actual hair growth figures. Per centimeter square, the difference between placebo and the most efficacious treatment dosage was less than six hairs per centimeter squared. Just to place this in context, minoxidil is known for producing rather modest results, and it generally gives between 10 to 20 extra hairs per centimeter squared. So this RCH-01 appears to be well inferior to minoxidil at this point, and it's not going to be cheaper than minoxidil, I can tell you that. Now, obviously there were no pricing details available at this point, 
but it's clear at this point that this is not going to be a one thing and then done. You will need to top up your treatment every few months, probably every six, nine or 12 months, depending on the patient. Another thing is, is that this whole thing seems to be dragging on forever. On Replicel's YouTube channel, you can find a video featuring Replicel CEO talking about the RCH-01 technology. This video was published in 2011, and the CEO discusses how the Replicel scientists have been working on their hairless technology for quote, the past nine years. This means the whole thing has been in development since 2002, nearly 20 years now, and we still don't have phase three results. There's been delay after delay after delay, and we're still not any closer to a launch date. So I hate to say it, and I hope I'm wrong, but I seriously doubt that this will be the next best thing in hair loss. It's not even certain at this point that it will even come to market in the first place. So for those of you out there that had high hopes on this new treatment, I hope today's video hasn't been too much of a downer. There's so much research going on into hair loss treatments, it's only a matter of time before something better comes along. Anyway guys, don't forget you can get the Hair God Hair Loss quiz by clicking the link in the description and you can click the video on the screen right now to learn more about scalp tension and hair loss. Thank you very much.